The Hyundai Santa Cruz has the coolest gauge cluster of any truck on the market. Here's how you can change it around. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive MT. And that's right, the Hyundai Santa Cruz does have the coolest gauge cluster of any truck on the market. You know, I was looking the other day because I knew you could change the screen around the way that it looks. I finally figured it out. Not quite as intuitive as I thought it would be, but it's not that complicated. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's hop in and the coolness of the gauge cluster starts as soon as you open the door. It shows you in a nice little round circle what the gauge cluster or that the door is open rather i like that it's kind of neat now we'll go ahead and shut the door i'll start it up and we'll take a look at how you change the gauge cluster and what it actually looks like here we go first of all i'm going to start her up go ahead and hit the start button there and you can see the radio kicks in too and there you can see the classic gauge cluster that's what came up uh, when i first got the truck that's how it was set now, I said it was a little bit uh, confusing to figure out how to change the cluster. For a little bit, I thought I didn't have it, that I didn't have a high enough trim level. I was going through the radio settings and all that stuff. Uh, not necessary. What you need is the steering wheel and this little file or paper looking like icon thing here. You want to hit that. Let's see. We'll hit it once. And you see it's got a few options there. It's got driver assistance, cluster lights, door and uh, a few other things, let's see. Digital keys, convenience, units, and then a reset. Well, we don't wanna do any of that. So we're up at the top, we're gonna to go down to cluster. So you just use this little button here, you push it up or down, that's how you move around. So we're gonna go down to cluster, and then you push in on the left part of this little area here, on this button right here. So go ahead and push that. And then uh, you want to arrow down a little bit further until you get to theme selection, which you can hopefully see right there. I know there's a little bit of a glare, but theme selection. Then you want to go ahead and push the button. And right now it's set on classic A. That's where we're at. Now you can link it to the drive mode that you have set, the drive mode being down here. When you change that, it will also change your screen based on the mode. So if you have that box checked, that's what's gonna happen. I have unchecked it. We're on classic A. We're gonna go down to classic B. And again, you just push the button on the steering wheel to select. Here we go. And there is classic B. Now that's the same mode as what the sport drive mode is down here. So if you wanted it to be red all the time, you'd go ahead and leave it there. Just exit out of here by pushing on this little file looking like button up here until it goes back to whatever you want it to be set at. But we're not going to leave it on classic B. Oh no. We're going to get down to classic C. Let's go ahead and hit that. And it goes back to a very similar screen as the original classic A. Let's go back up to classic A. Let you guys see that. Classic A is gray. I guess it is a bit different. It's a, a gray background to the dials, if you will. And then classic C uh, gives you kind of a blue hue or blue tint with a black background. Now we're gonna arrow down to cube because I think this is the coolest feature and I've been using this myself recently. So we're gonna go ahead once again and push the button. And by the way, we're moving this by pushing this button up or down. So not in, but up or down. So we're gonna go ahead and select cube and check that out. Now, if I exit out of here, Again, just pushing the buttons till it goes back to where I want, which for me, I usually leave it on miles per hour there with the zero in the center. But that is the cube mode. You notice we have miles per hour on the left and RPMs on the right, and then it also changes the fuel gauge a little bit, the color. And I like this better because I think it's easier to read. If we go back to classic A, which I'll do here in just a minute, let's see. I'll show you that. Pay attention to the gas gauge there on the bottom left. We're going to go down to theme selection again, and then we're going to go to classic A. And you can see how it kind of blends in a little bit with the gauge cluster. 
honestly, it was kind of hard for me to track down. When I first got the truck, I couldn't figure out where the uh, fuel gauge was. Now, looking at B again and paying attention to that fuel gauge area, you can see it sticks out a little bit more in the red, but it really kind of blends in. So it kind of matches the rest of the dial. And again, it's kind of hard to pinpoint, at least for me, the first time. Now we'll go back down to Classic C, again, still looking at that fuel gauge. And it pops a little bit more there, I guess. I'm not sure how it's going to show up on camera, but it does pop a little bit more and seems to have more of a turquoise or a greenish hue to it, which does differentiate it a bit from everything else. Now, back to Cube. And this is the one I like the most. I think it's because of the black background. You know, it really shows up well. Let's get out of the selection modes there. Go back to speed limit or miles per hour right here. That's what I like to see in the center. But looking at this, you notice it does pop a little bit more, and I think it's a little bit easier to see. Of course, on the screen, we have the lights up here in green, and then all of the modes. We're in the car mode right now. And by pushing that center button here, that's how you move between the different modes up here. Let me go ahead and show you. We'll hit that. You see it goes over to user settings, all kinds of things you can do in there. And then there's a tire pressure. You have to be moving for that to work. And then an attention level. Um, never really understood what the point of that was. I guess the car takes a guess as to how much attention you're actually paying. So we'll go back to miles per hour. Uh, it also has the fuel economy gauge. That's a constant. I don't believe it changes no matter what mode you're in. It just changes colors, I think. And then over here is the engine temperature. And then of course, how many miles you actually have on the vehicle. Obviously, mine is still a baby at 288 miles. Now, there's one other thing I want to mention, and I'm going to go back to uh, the classic mode. So let's get back to that. This surprised me the other day when I was out driving around. There, we're back to the classic mode. Let's get out of the selections. And when I was driving around the other day, I pulled up to somebody at a stoplight and they changed lanes. The light turned green and they actually pulled over to the left to go ahead and make a left-hand turn. So they were sitting in front of me. When that happened, a message with a chime popped up on this gauge telling me, and I, I'm going to quote it wrong, so don't hold me to that, but in essence, that the object or vehicle in front of me had moved. So it flashed me a light, gave or a, a message, gave me a chime to tell me that that vehicle had moved. Now, I thought that was pretty cool. And the reason being is because have you ever been at a light and it turns green and the person sits there? They're either on their phone or who knows what they're doing. Maybe they're eating lunch. I don't know. But this reminds you as the driver that the vehicle in front of you has moved away and kind of keys you in that you should go. You know, like the light is green. Come on, let's get moving. I thought that was pretty cool. I wasn't aware of that. I was taken by surprise. It was pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go back again one more time. I'll show you to the cube mode because that is my new favorite. So we go to cluster and then just scroll down till you get to theme selection. And then we're gonna go down all the way to, let's see, the bottom, I guess it is and select that cube mode. There you go. I think that is just awesome. So there you go. Just a quick little tutorial, I guess, uh, to show you how to move through the different themes for the gauge cluster. Again, I think the Hyundai Santa Cruz has the coolest gauge cluster of any truck out there. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Did you like that or is it just too futuristic for you? Now, you don't have to use that cube feature. You could use just the other colors. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma, and Rob Motive JT, all about Jeep Gladiators. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.